Good evening, a new dog park and a bigger lobby at the Embassy Theater. Both ideas are one step closer to becoming reality. Earlier tonight, the Board of Park Commissioners voted unanimously to move forward with both proposals. News Channel 15's Sarah Wagner joins us with more. Pending the board's final approval, both projects are set to start early next year. And if that happens, the embassy will continue its current renovations and a dog park will go in at Johnny Appleseed Park. Construction. It's nothing new for the Embassy Theater. It's a $10 million project that renovates all the spaces that haven't been developed by the embassy um, in decades. Renovations started several years ago and include a two-story ballroom, rooftop patio, and history center. Part of the expansion includes building out this alleyway that sits between the Embassy Theater and the Botanical Conservatory. The new proposal would use that alley space to expand the lobby and add more room for concessions. It'll be awesome for, the, for patrons in the theater lobby because it, it will be a safer and an easier travel experience. They'll be able to walk right up to a window built into the wall. Half of the alley belongs to the theater and the other half belongs to the Parks Department. We're behind it. It's just a process now to get it done, but they've got a great project going. With tonight's approval, the next step of the project is the land appraisal. We did our homework. Um, they have a great policy actually for land use by the Parks Department and, and the ability to um, to purchase it by others. The other project on tonight's agenda will change this sign in Johnny Appleseed Park. Officials say the dog park will model the one in Foster Park. There's a big demand for dog parks in the city and since Foster Park is on the south side of town we've been getting a lot of demand from the north side of town. The plan is to use one of the baseball diamonds near the campgrounds. Interested dog owners will need to buy a membership to use the facility. The $40 annual fee will work for both dog parks. It will also be available for people camping at the park. They're going to have a place now that they can let their dogs get exercise along with everyone else on the north side of town. The dog park should be done by the spring. The embassy hopes to have the lobby expansion completed by next September. Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.